So guys, I hope you're enjoying all the coverage from Mantic this weekend. Um, and you're having a good look around, you're exploring the range on the website. Uh, also, like, website as in beastsofwar.com, having a look over what uh, other Mantic stuff we have there, because there's a few other videos out there uh, in amongst it all. And also going to Mantic's website and checking out uh, the actual product ranges, and maybe you see something you like. Um, now, what I'm going to look at here, this is an exclusive product that is only available from um, Mantic Games' own website. This is a 3-up resin cast zombie. Now, if you've already seen the video, we announced that the zombies are on their way. Uh, they'll be in uh, September time. Um, and this is part of the collector's range that Mantic do. So, what they do is when they have the 3-ups, they choose one. Uh, or a couple and they turn them into resin cast collectors miniatures so they stand roughly say about four four and a half inches tall possibly five inches tall depending on the pose um, obviously cast in resin uh, these are resin cast made off the original green three up sculpt uh, done the master model basically done for the miniatures you see uh, on the sprues so what I have here is a zombie and uh, we're going to start by looking at his torso. So you can see the torso here is nice and twisted. It is one arm molded on and one arm which is left as a blank shoulder. You can see the guts are all sort of ripped open and you can see bulges of, of intestines and you know just gruesome stuff that you expect from zombies. Uh, the flesh is torn along the arms. Uh, it just generally doesn't look in that great shape. If you go over to the back of the torso, there's another huge gash across his back, uh, showing an, expo uh, an exposed spine and ribs and bits and pieces. So, very nice, very good detail, considering this is the same amount of detail that's on the actual sprue miniatures. Um, this is really good to even have just as a 3-up to paint, and this is the whole idea behind uh, Mantic's collector's range. Uh, so, we'll just have another little quick look over the torso, you can see the arm in a bit more detail there with bits of torn flesh and the way his hand looks like it's stuck in some sort of weird rigor mortis. Uh, we'll move that out of the way. We'll move on to his other arm. And his other arm here is clasping another arm. Well, a forearm of what was either another zombie or a person. Um, so, a handy little weapon that this zombie has. Now you can see here, because it's a resin cast, we have a small gate uh, up at the top here. Now that's just part of the resin casting process. When we come to build that, we'll have to shave that away and tidy that up uh, as much as possible. But again, all in all, good detail. And it, has, it really is a very nice sculpt. When you see these miniatures on the sprue, you'll be very impressed with them. So we'll go on and we'll finish our look at the body and we'll have a look at the legs. Now this is a good set of legs. This is torn clothing, torn skin bits jutting out from his legs, he has a, a, a kneecap jutting out of this leg here as you can see, exposed bone and muscle tissue throughout, uh, everything's just torn up, you can have a look there and you can see the amount of detail that is worked in uh, around all this cloth that seems to be loosely hanging around to the body. So when that stands up, that round piece is the, the piece you'll f be f more familiar with with other Mantic miniatures, that's the part that goes into the square base. Um, on the website they also do have a scaled up square base to put it on, make it look a bit more presentable. You can keep it on the little round base, of course, but if you buy the extra little square base then it looks exactly like the sprue miniature is only a, a fair bit bigger. But that's our look at the torso, the legs and the arms. We have two head options that come with this as well, and we're just going to have a look at both of these now. So if I slide them forward a little bit more. There you are. So we have our two charming gentlemen here. Uh, probably someone that used to work uh, in a bar or possibly someone that used to be a high court judge. Who knows? Um, all I do know is half of his face is missing and there's, you can see the exposed jaw and skull and there's a giant eyeball stuck in there. This other guy it looks a little bit more out of it. Uh, what would you say? Someone that used to work in the cinema? Uh, possibly a bodybuilder, maybe a, a race car driver, who knows? Um, so he has no eyes, uh, which is rather funky. And if you go around the back of the head, there's a large bit of his scalp missing there as well. So I'll have to now decide 
having looked at all the parts, what way I'm going to build this thing. Now obviously I'm not going to do a building tutorial on it, uh, because you're pretty much following the same steps as you would be with the sprue miniature. Um, but as this is a review video, we have three steps to show you. We've shown you the first step, all the parts separately. We're then going to move on and show you the model built and show you what way I've went about building it and what way you can go about building it as well when you, uh, if you decide to buy your own. Um, and then the final step is going to be showing the model painted up uh, just to show you what sort of detail you can get into something like a three-up miniature, just painting it uh, normally basically. Um, so obviously guys when we come back we'll have this model paint uh, built, sorry not just yet, we'll have it built and you can have a look around this miniature once it's in one big piece. So guys under close cam you can clearly see we have our zombie built um, and he's in quite a, an interesting little pose, uh, one arm way up into the back, very sort of flung forward. Um, now you can also see a little bit of green stuff work. Now this is just because I fancy adding a bit more. Um, I want this guy to look as realistic as possible when I get him uh, painted. So what I did was just basically take some green stuff and just finish off where the cloth ends at his waist and make it look a bit more frayed at the top you know, to sort of denote that that's where the cloth is ending. Um, but apart from that, when because this is a three up of the sprue miniature, when you actually get your sprue miniatures, you won't have to worry about doing any of that. Uh, your poly cement and everything will fill out the gaps nicely, will tidy everything up. And when a model is this size, you're not gonna notice anything that you'll see on the three up like that. Um, so hopefully, Ronnie, you're not gonna shout at me for this, but I felt like I just wanted to add a bit more. I want this guy to look quite special when I have him painted up. Um, so obviously now we'll have another little look at him, we'll just do a little twirl, Rrr, twirl. So you can really see the, the waistline is really the only bit of green stuff work I've, I've uh, decided to do. Obviously I've added some green stuff uh, into the arm just to help strengthen that bond a little bit. There's super glue in there as well uh, and then there was a little bit of a a space up in the top of the head. Uh, even though that could have stayed there quite nicely, I wanted a very much a chrome dome look to him. So, as you can see, that's uh, the zombie completely built. And you can see the height, like I say, is about four, four to five inches tall uh, from base to the top of the hand there. So, hopefully guys, uh, when we come back, we'll have this guy completely painted and hopefully he will scare the living daylights out of you. Um, he'll probably scare the living daylights out of me when I haven't finished and I wake up in the middle of the night to, to get a drink and just see this because he'll be sitting beside my bed because I'll have just finished it and then fell asleep. <laughs> there you go. But hopefully when you come back, guys, we'll have a fully painted zombie and then we'll have a look at just what detail we can bring out of this model. Well, guys, we now have the zombie painted. Um, it took about seven and a half hours to eight hours. Uh, and to be honest, I think I'm rather pleased with the results. So if you care to switch to close cam, uh, you get a good look at what this model as a three up actually looks like when it's painted. Uh, so you can see there's plenty of detail in there, lots of stuff to play with. Um, I actually find the skin tone completely by accident, but I think it's worked all right. Very creepy looking, I have to admit. Uh, I did want the, a very high contrast between the, the almost the pretty much dead skin and the, the internals sort of still being very visceral looking and very shiny. Um, and I wanted the, the hand that he, the arm, the forearm that he's holding to look a little bit more decayed uh, than the rest of them. So there's a slight different color and the slight different change in the tone of skin there. Um, but I think he's turned out pretty well. It's a lovely model to work on. Um, like I said, about seven and a half to eight hours had that done, and I think that's a, a reasonable quality. But, you know, guys, it's up to you, of course. Have a look at it yourself again. Rewind the video, check it out again, see what you think. Um, but thanks very much for watching, guys. Hopefully it's inspired you to go maybe pick up uh, one of the three up resin cast range uh, that Mantic do. Now don't forget these are limited edition to 75 models per uh, per run and it's a one-off run so they destroy the molds afterwards. Um, but go over and see what you 
what do you make of them, see if there's one in there for you. They have a skeleton, they have an elf as well. I'm sure they'll be doing ones for every one of their, their races that are coming out. So once again, guys, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.